Time is money, so I always say that to, to developers as well. Plan it in the beginning and you will save time and, and money in the process. Finally, people are actually going, do you know what? Design is more than cushions and fabrics and curtains. And you know, it's about quality and it's about balancing the budget and it's about getting the best for your money. We always have to balance between the design and the price. So we have uh, the sales team on one side who is driving us with the price factor and the design team who loves to have super huge apartments. Finally, people are actually coming to us and being like, what, what is your expertise? Like, what do you guys recommend? What are the trends in the market in terms of quality and design, not just necessarily aesthetic? A lot of clients will come with a lot of ideas and we are the ones that we actually need to encourage them in the right direction and to advise them what do they actually need. It's becoming very personal. You really need to uh, become uh, close to your, to your client. You really need to understand what they are not saying as well, what they are just thinking and not sharing. In the development world, especially post-COVID in Dubai, where the property market has gone crazy, developers are working at such a fast pace that their design departments don't necessarily have the time to do the research behind the product. So they're relying and trusting ID consultancies to obviously reach out to suppliers like NGC Nafis um, to get all the kind of background on materials and functionality. I think also developer kind of appreciate how many clients we actually deal with day to day and they do want an insight of what, what the clients are looking for and how they can sell their, their property with profit obviously. These are people that travel a lot and see the best in every country and they want the same at home. So a lot of references that they share with me are from uh, like boutique hotels uh, in remote spaces in the world and we are trying to recreate that exclusivity and uniqueness in their own home and uh, yeah they're very willing to invest in those specific uh, points. People don't just buy apartments, but they buy lifestyle. So we are focusing on wellness and uh, comfort of living. The amenities are very actually important because, for example, if it's a lobby, this is the first impression that we leave on a client. So when someone enters and when they see a very nicely stylish lobby with a lot of, for example, comfortable furniture, with a lot of gadgets, whether, for example, it's uh, games, um, board games so they can sit and they can play, whether it's just sockets, for example, to, to plug their, their computers. It's very important that they feel like they can actually use that space. It's not necessarily just looking at it from a high and a low point of view. It's seeing where your money is going to get you the best value, right? So it's not necessarily just about aesthetic or about the price point, but um, kitchens and bathrooms are obviously the areas where we really make a difference in terms of the budget definitely. Uh, bathrooms is another one. Um, so we feel often in bathrooms if you go really high quality in terms of fixtures and faucets um, then you could scale back a little bit more on tiles. So not necessarily in quality but in price point. So again no one's going to walk on your tiles and go oh that's definitely such and such a brand but they are going to remember what they felt like on the floor when you walked, what they look like in appearance. Everything doesn't need to be spend on, you just need to spend on the right things. I think it's about creating that right balance and understanding the consumer. Kitchen needs to be functional and beautiful. You can get that with a beautiful custom-made kitchen. Sometimes you can even get that more because it's custom and you can get more functionality out of it. And then you can invest in the appliances and have some high-end appliances. <music> short-term rentals, it's very important to have the designer on board, not just go to IKEA and uh, pick random furniture. Because when you, are have, when you have on board uh, a designer, the designer will have an overall picture and give much, much better uh, product in the end. Mm -hmm.